After winning a medal in ski jumping for the first time ever, Canada has added another first time ever medal in Beijing, this one in the men's alpine combined skiing event. And it's all thanks to Toronto's Jack Crawford, who won bronze in the event, which combines the time of one downhill run and one slalom run on the same day. The 24-year-old made it to the podium by less than two-tenths of a second. It's always been a childhood dream to be at the Olympics and be a part of the event and, and to be here and actually be a medalist is amazing. Uh, I couldn't have asked for more. Ontario's Isabel Weidman becomes the first Canadian athlete in Beijing to win multiple medals. She finished second in the women's 5,000 meter speed skating event to add a silver medal to the bronze she won earlier in the competition in the 3,000 meters. Very proud. Uh, to have won another medal for Canada. Um, yeah, I was very overcome with emotion after the 3K, and I couldn't really process kind of everything that I was feeling, and um, I have a better, better grasp of that now. In men's snowboard cross, Quebec's Elliot Grandin finished second, winning a silver medal for his first podium appearance in Olympic competition. The 20-year-old found himself in a photo finish at the end of the race, missing gold by less than a tenth of a second. This is the first year mixed team aerials is being contested at the Olympics and Canada took full advantage. The three-person team won bronze after qualifying for the four-team final in third place. The clinching jump was made by team veteran Lewis Irving. In the mixed team figure skating saga, it has been reported that a female Russian skater has tested positive for a banned heart drug. Now it's unclear if she had a medical exemption. If not, there's a chance Canada could be upgraded to a bronze medal. Mike Arsenault, Global News.